Hey everyone, it's Simon Hurley and I'm a 15 year old card maker here at scrapbook.com and in this last lesson I'm going to be sharing two card making techniques to get you guys started. These are pretty simple and they're some of my favorites. These are the two cards with the techniques we're doing today. This one features the swipe stamping technique and this one is going to be some watercolor stamping so it kind of fades out. So I'm going to start off with a piece of watercolor cardstock. I'm using the smooth side so I can do some stamping on it today. And I'm going to be using this flower stamp set from Concord and Ninth. I'm going to pull off some of the flowers I want to use. Then I'm going to add each one of these to acrylic blocks so we can do some stamping with them. So now we can start doing some of our stamping. I'm going to be using Distress Oxides to do all the stamping and they have some really cool effects because they react with the water. So I'm going to start off by inking it up with my first color which is this light yellow fossilized amber. And then I may go in on the bottom with some fired brick. I'm just going to kind of roll the ink pad up on the edge there. And that creates that fun little effect. And then I can stamp it right down onto my card. And you get that cool blended effect there. After that I'm going to stamp this little rose here with a lighter pink color. And then roll the edge with some red. So you get that cool blend there. Then I'm going to stamp that down. And then for the last flower I'm going to do some yellow. And then I'm going to add some orange right on the inside. So I'm just going to take kind of the corner of the ink pad and just tap it right on the inside of that stamp to get some blending there. Then I can stamp this one near the top. Then to do our leaves I'm just going to use some green. And this one I'm just going to solid stamp this. So I'm going to add a couple different leaves to each flower. And then some for the rose as well. And then I'm going to do some of these larger flowers for the big flower. And I'm going to roll the tip of the stamp in some fossilized amber to get some yellow. And then before I do anything else, I'm going to do the stem here as well. So I'm going to do it in green and then I'm going to roll the bottom part in some yellow. So you get that nice blended effect. I'm going to go back with this leaf and stamp that top portion. And then if you notice that you have some of the other color on your ink pad, you can kind of just wipe that off and it won't really ruin your ink pad. So after all that stamping is complete, I'm going to do the watercolor portion of this. So I'm going to take a little mister bottle and hold it pretty far from my piece. And then I can just mist it a couple times. And I've only done it a couple times here because I don't want too much bleeding. I just want the color to kind of move a little bit. But I still want those flower shapes to be nice and visible. And if you have some little portions you don't want to keep moving, you can just touch the paper towel with it and it'll pick up some of that water. And then I'm going to bring in my heat tool and heat set this background and I'll be right back when it's all dry. And I'm just going to blot off some of that excess color there. So once that's all nice and dry, I'm going to bring in a large pair of scissors here. And just cut kind of right around that border, following the shape of the flowers there. And you can kind of just cut out some of that white space. So once that's all cut, I'm going to start, I'm going to start stamping my sentiment onto the card. I'm going to use the Friends Forever stamp. And so you have to put two of these sentiments together. So you can create your own. And I'm going to first stamp this forever. Inking it up with some black waterproof ink. And then I can stamp that right down onto the card. Then you get a nice clean stamped image. And then I can stamp down the friends portion of the sentiment. So I'm going to ink that up with the same black ink. 
and fit it kind of in this top portion of that forever. So once that's done, I can add this onto my card. I'm going to use some more foam tape. So I'm just going to pull off some of these little pieces and add it onto the back of my panel. Then I'm peeling off the back of this foam tape and I'm going to add it onto my card panel, aligning the side portion in the top. And then you can lay the rest down. And if there's anything hanging off the bottom here, you can always just cut that off. So here's the finished card for this. You can even go a little bit more and add some little Nouveau drops. So I'm bringing in these black Nouveau drops. And you can add some around the sentiment and the flowers. And you can even add some off of that background. So this is the completed card that we created. You can see that I added a lot more water than the example. It's a little more faded out. So you can kind of play around with how much you spray on it and how far away the spray bottle is to get different effects and to get different blended watercolors. Now I'm going to share the swipe stamping technique, which gives you a really fun texture on some solid stamped images. So I'm going to be using this stamp set, Petals and Stems by Avriel. I'm going to grab some of the fun images in here and add them onto some acrylic blocks so we can do our stamping. And then I'm going to bring in the Hero Arts Hybrid Inks. I find that these work the best for this technique because they kind of hold their place since they're a mix of a pigment and a dye ink. So I would recommend these, but you could also use dye inks and they work pretty well for the technique. So all you have to do is instead of patting the ink on like you usually would to get a great stamped image, you're going to take the ink pad and just swipe it across the stamp a couple times. And then you'll see that kind of texture that you can get on the stamp. And when you stamp it down, you get a really fun impression with some of those swipe lines from the ink pad on it. And it looks really awesome, but it's kind of an effortless technique in the end. So you can even do it with some different colored inks. Just swipe, and then you can stamp your image and you get that fun texture there. So I'm going to do it one more time. So you can just tap it a couple times and then swipe your ink pad right across to get that texture. And then you can stamp it right down onto your card. So once you're done stamping these images, all you need to do is cut them out and you can create a really fun background and floral arrangement using some adhesive and foam tape. And I also used one of those fun stitched squares to create a window shape on the card. Thanks so much for joining me for this card making basics class. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and learned a lot and are ready to start card making. If you guys want some more techniques and tips, I have a class here at scrapbook.com called Step-by-Step -Step Card Making Techniques and you can learn a bunch more there as well. Thanks so much for joining me and I can't wait to see all of your projects posted in the gallery.